Hello. Uh, before creating any crypto art, have you asked this question? Where is your artwork is actually stored and what you are selling? And uh, does NFT is is a complete representation of your art? I was asking this question myself because um, um, I am wondering what happens to my artwork uh, when somebody buys it because artwork is somewhere on the web and NFT is just talking that points to that address on the web. And this can seem a bit confusing and unreliable. Were you ever wondering where it's your NFT art is actually stored? Uh, is it on blockchain or somewhere on the web? What is on blockchain and where is actually the big file is stored? Your image, your video, your record, recording music. Uh, it, it cannot be stored on blockchain because it's pretty big. And uh, so what options do we have? NFT. Uh, the non-fungible token itself is not an art, it's just the record on blockchain with the pointer to the web address where this artwork file, media file, is located uh, at the moment when it was minted. So NFT art, basically it's the record on blockchain plus media and uh, plus metadata like description, name and other uh, data that we feel when we create our NFT. To store big amounts uh, of data in, in Ethereum blockchain would be too expensive. That's why in blockchain normally just the address is stored, a uh, uh, ad web address where you can find information about your uh, artwork like metadata and the artwork media file itself. So when you create your NFT, make sure that you are using trustworthy platform uh, because they are actually storing your art uh, on their servers. Many NFT marketplaces uh, use IPFS store, to store their data. IPFS stands for Interplanetary File System and it's a kind of decentralized file system. The idea is it's uh, the, the data are stored there in the way that it's distributed among many computers. So what does OpenSea platform do to store their data? Actually, they are using IPFS as well. By this, they claim that it recycle is stored uh, forever and never will be missing. So to make sure that uh, your art will be stored on IPFS, uh, when you are creating an NFT, there will be the checkbox freeze your metadata. Basically, this actually records uh, media file and metadata to IPFS. So what is actually stored? The name of the artwork, the media itself, um, uh, JPEG, MP3, PNG file, any media you uploaded, uh, then description and data like properties, levels and stats. Everything will be frozen except your edit unlockable content. The content that can be only revealed to the owner and or buyer of the NFT. And the question, how much does it cost to uh, store your media on IPFS? And yet, unfortunately, you will have to pay a gas fee for freezing your metadata, which is basically storing them in IPFS. I will link the article from OpenSea where they step by step describe how to free the data, but you know the basics. Hope this information was helpful. Uh, let me know in comments. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this.